Hello, uh, my name is Jacopo Torrini. I'm an Italian architect living in Japan for 17 years. And I just came back from a trip to Fujisawa, near the famous Enoshima Hot Springs Resort in the Yokohama area. I would like to show you this beautiful pre-war one-story Sukiya style building. The sad part of the story is that this house and beautiful garden would be destroyed at the end of January. The good side of the story is that it is a timber frame building and can be safely dismantled and relocated. Do you want to own a Japanese house in pristine condition, which was used as a tea ceremony school for the past 20 years? This is the right occasion. The building with all the accessories is available for free. You will have to pay for the dismantling cost about $42,000, the shipping cost about $15,000, and reconstruction. I'm giving an estimate in US dollars. The building consists of 84 uh, square meters, about 900 square feet, and if you calculate about $150 per square foot, the cost for reconstruction would be around 150,000 uh, US dollars. We have to act quickly, as the demolition is starting on January the 27th. Please find more details and updates in the text below this video. This property is the next victim of the wild rules of speculation on real estate in Japan. In Japan, any type of building devaluates quickly, and after 20 years, it loses completely its commercial value. No capital gain on the building if you buy or build a house in Japan. On the other hand, the land is very expensive, and larger properties are split in tiny lots, just enough to build a prefabricated house, which are more commercially viable. Another obstacle to maintain a real estate is the very high Japanese heritage tax, which penalizes conservation and promotes redevelopment. The regulation seems to be made just to fit the interests of the banks as a mortgage on the land or a cash investment in a life insurance fund are the only ways to reduce or completely offset the tax liability. Let's put this general consideration on the side and uh, let me guide you in a tour of the property. Dozo. On the street side, we follow a wabi-sabi bamboo fence until we reach the mon or the outside gate. This gate is, we see it here, made of solid planks of tonerico wood. The lumber to obtain such wide and nice marble-like grained planks does not exist anymore on the market. The approach of the house is fresh and welcoming. I'm now in the entrance paved with stones and araidashi mortar. Turning to the back, this is the entrance for door from where I came. You can see again the delicious Torineva from garden. Let's step up now. In front of us is the kitchen door. And uh, if we turn left, right, uh, this is the corridor leading to the main room. Let's now turn left into the middle room. It is an orthodox six tatami room overlooking the garden. Here is the detail of the sliding windows with original hardware, now becoming more and more rare. If you open the window panels and show your screens, you can enjoy a great view of the garden. Following the corridor on the back, we see the Mizuya, where all the accessories for the tea ceremony are washed. And here is a small room, added in 1994. It has a low ceiling and amazing woodwork. We can open the picture window and see the garden um, on its full length. The Nuren deck can be used as a great half indoors, half outdoor space. Here is the room from different angle with the row in the foreground. Going back to the corridor, take a look at the solid planks wood floor. And here is a delicious Jibukuro cabinet, ideal for displaying a beautiful uh, lacquer box. Here we reach the main room. It has now a table and rug in it, but uh, uh, the flooring is made of tatami. Here is the view of the garden through the shoji screens and the Engava corridor. Uh, I'm here with the owner and I plan to interview her in the short, uh, shortly uh, in more detail to hear all the glorious stories of the house. Let's step, up, step out on the Tobishi and into the garden. Are you coming with us? Uh, here is the main 10 tatami rooms we were in before, uh, seen from the outside. 
you can see the convex corner of the middle room and the new addition on the right. All the accessories such as this lamp come together with the building. I love the fact that the stones prove the fact that there was a road with a wide junction here. It has been enclosed in the private property since then, but the stone bollard of the previous historical street is still there. Everything has a story in a meeting here, such as the bonsai zukuri pine, pine tree received from a painter. I will try to have it removed and safely transplanted on the new site. The season is favorable, favorable, who knows. I'm afraid that it will be difficult to transfer the tall uh, sugi pine going through the roof, which is giving the name to the house. The owner was broken heart considering the house where she was raised would be destroyed and he is now hopeful that it may be rebuilt somewhere else. Uh, nice woodwork on the Nuren deck of the middle room. Uh, here I'm back in the front of the entrance examining the wood bark finishing of the external wall. This is the cute wooden gate leading into a path around the house. All the stonework in the garden, such as these beautiful toro lanterns, come in the package. It will be difficult to transplant this aged moss, but I'm hopeful we can recreate the same atmosphere. Here is the space to the west of the house, with beautiful cover tiles floor and bamboo fence. I also like the detail of the araidashi floor, with larger stones, which look very natural. Uh, I'm now back in the main garden facing southwest. This is the same view, lowering the angle to show the Sudara screen and the Tobishi stones. I'm now between the trees of the south side, looking at the pond and, one, and the one-story uh, house with the Ibushigawara roof tiles. And here is the pond. Uh, it is not maintained now, but it used to have koi carps swimming in it. There are tales that almost all the members of the family fell at least once in the pond during the, their childhood. I like it anyway, even this way, with momiji tree leaves. And to close this slide show, here is the beautiful long-legged toro stone lantern, which reminds of the famous ones in the Kenrokuen garden in Kanazawa. This toro came together with the, with the bonsai style pine we saw before, uh, from a painter, went to relocate. Uh, in the past, it was just not imaginable to throw away such beautiful and precious things. I think we live in an age of loss of value and barbarization. By the time this ageless and subtle beauty uh, will be appreciated, I think this age will return soon. And we have the moral obligation to bridge this culture and these stories through the future and for the next generations. I appreciate you watching this video and I would like to remind you the way this house can be adopted and the cost involved. The area of the house is 84 uh, square meters, about 900 square feet. It will cost about 42,000 US dollars for gently dismantling and packing all the items. The shipping cost is about 15,000 US dollars. For the reconstruction, it depends on the country you are in, but if you consider an average of 150 to 200 US dollars per square foot, the cost of reconstruction will be somewhere from 150,000 to 200,000 US dollars. Then uh, consider about 20,000 US dollars to have a Japanese carpenter supervising the construction and uh, instructing the local workers. The grand total will then be from uh, 227 to 277,000 US dollars. Uh, let's put an extra 20,000 dollars on the top just to be on the safe side. So we can say that with uh, 300,000 US dollars, you can have this house and you know, all the accessories in your garden. The house itself is free, uh, plus this calculation include the dismantling of the house, the shipping, reconstruction, supervision, all included sums up to a uh, maximum $300,000. Now, uh, let's talk about the schedule. The dismantling of the building by hand will take about one month. 
the building and the garden uh, will have to be taken away, otherwise they will bulldoze the after February the 10th. So if we want to save the building, we have to start work on January the 27th. I negotiated they would leave me time until the end of February, but this is really the final limit. Uh, do you like the house? I think it's really a treasure and a unique occasion. Of course, it would be great to use it for a tea ceremony or Ikebana classes or other traditional Japanese art. It can be used as a ryokan uh, or a Japanese restaurant. And of course, it would be a great Japanese pavilion in your garden for meditation or to be used as a guest house. By granting success to this building adoption project, I think we can reach two uh, very important goals. One is, of course, to grant the existence of this wonderful building. The other purpose is to create a concrete example that may propel and promote similar initiatives in the near future. Lastly, I hope that with this type of project, we can impact the Japanese public opinion and common sense and make the Japanese more aware of the treasures they own and give an incentive uh, to similar projects and to a smarter perspective about conservation of heritage buildings and ethical ways of economical exploit exploitation. Uh, there are three ways you can help. One is, if you are interested in the building, to pay for the cost of dismantling. The, the building will be safely stored until you are ready to move on, and it will be your property. The second way to help is to uh, purchase the products in the page below. 50% of the sales will be devolved to a fund that will grant the dismantling and storage of the building in case nobody steps forward. If we raise more than necessary, the fund will be used for similar projects in the future and the accounting for this budget will be available through Google Docs for public review. The third way is to spread the word. Please share on the social media and with your friends. We have very little time, but a great passion, and with your help we can move mountains. That's my belief. Thank you. Saigo made okikitadaki. Arigatou gozaimashita.